I've got a quick mods video for you today. We're gonna to be installing a storage solution for our gray water hose. Uh, yes, I pulled the trigger on, on a gray water hose. The dilemma I'm running into, we own a pop-up, I don't have very much storage. Now, I've got all these additional little pieces, I'll figure out where to put those later. Two options, the box that came in, which is cardboard and not gonna last. The other option is a nice, good old, storage bin. The problem with these things, they take up a ton of storage in the camper, outside of the camper, on the front deck, or even worse, they take up a lot of room in the back of my truck. I don't want to do this either. So, how do I store this? This is kind of a concept I came up with. I've seen some pictures around the interweb, and it's going to be a storage tube on the back bumper. I went on Amazon and I ordered this uh, Volterra uh, storage tube. Um, Actually, on the pictures, it shows fishing rods, and then on the back, it actually shows the uh, gray water um, sewage hose or black water, but we don't have black water, which is cool. So, let's get into the video and install this on the back bumper. Y'all see the same problem here I see? Not gonna fit the hose. So, doesn't fit that. Also, I thought I ordered the uh, like 48 to 60 inch uh, expandable tube, and I clearly didn't. So I was going to attach it to the back bumper brace right here. Go from that one over to this one, and that's where I was gonna put it but never did it cross my mind that this hose would not fit. Let alone I did order the wrong one, which the new one that I ordered would have been the wrong one anyway. So, our spot is no longer our spot. So I think I found my location. Right up here in the front, I'm gonna go from side to side, which is roughly, I think 83 inches long, roughly. It doesn't get in the way of the stabilizers. My four inch shower and uh, sink drain connection is right there, so it should be easy. So here's the new location of the tube I just need to go order it and the one that I found online is from rec pro and I'll have the links down below I've got the stainless steel hardware I need to get this new tube installed. Let's stop wasting time, drill a couple holes in the camper and get this thing installed. Be careful, there is wires behind that. Just be careful. Just like that. Went ahead and installed a zip tie on this side of the camper because I'm probably never going to open up that side of the door. Well, that's a wrap, guys. A pretty easy install, a nice little modification to the camper to accept your four inch gray or black water hose. Now, if you're wondering how I'm able to use a four inch hose, I did a video previously sharing how I converted my shower and sink into a combined four inch hose to accept this regular RV hose. Smash that like button, consider subscribing because we're headed up to Devil's Den State Park in a week and a half, and I'm gonna do a camp tour around our campsite showing you our setup on how we're using this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.